Okay, so before I get going, uh, I put on some gloves and I'm gonna obviously wear gloves while I use this glue. Um, same as if you're gonna use epoxy, always wear gloves. Uh, you know, don't get complacent about that. You know, it, yeah, it's gonna, you know, even if you have a little bit, it's gonna make your fingers, uh, you know, like you'll have glue stuck to you for days and that's annoying, but, but you know, like it, to some extent we are using chemicals here and, uh, you know, uh, you know when it says on the label caution, it's an irritant. You know, like it's a no-brainer, right? Even you know, regardless of how tough you are or strong, and you think you get away with it, just put the gloves on and save yourself a little bit of hassle. Okay. All right, so let's get going. Okay, so I'm not sure if the video will uh, show it, what I just did, but one thing with Gorilla Glue is uh, you want to keep the air out of the bottle, okay? If I have, uh, it's going to have about, you know, a third of glue left in here. Um, last night I had about like a half or so, and uh, you want to keep the air out or you're going to end up wasting a lot of money and be buying these all the time. If you uh, finish gluing, hold it upright and cap it, you'll get air in there and then the glue is just going to go hard on you and you'll have a big solid piece of garbage basically. Um, so what I do is I squeeze out my glue and then right at the end when I'm done I'll uh, stop applying pressure and then just cap it. Okay, And that's that. Right? Sealed, no air. Okay. All right, so now I've got my strips and they all have glue on them, so I'm just gonna stack them one on top of each other. Very easy. And I'll take my last one that didn't get any glue and put it on top. Okay, I'm just gonna even out the edges. And now I'm gonna start clamping it on. What I'm gonna do Hopefully you can follow me over here. Uh, is I'm gonna start with about an inch or an inch and or an inch and a half past uh, the the form. Okay, and sorry, I put all my clamps over here. And I'm gonna take a clamp. And I will put it in here. Try to center the clamp as best as I can. And apply some pressure. Okay, and just even out your strips as you go. Okay, double check it along the length. All right, and here we go. All right, now, uh, if you didn't put gloves on already, my fingers are, are coated, well coated with glue, okay, from the squeeze out. So that that's, right now I would be, you know, probably cursing a little bit, wishing I had put them on. All right, so, now we're just going to work our way down the form. All right, I'm going to grab a few clamps and go back to the other side. So I'm going to skip a few holes. I'm going to come down here. So it's about the fifth hole. And apply some pressure. Now, don't over tighten to begin with, okay? Because you might have to adjust this, all right? And you don't want all your glue to squeeze out, okay? So now I'm just going to start bending it down, all right? And you feel the resistance, all right? So this time I'm just going to go down about three clamp, three holes further. And this is tr a tricky part. If, if you have a friend to do the bending while you do the clamping, it'll save you a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of trouble, but easy enough one person okay keep holding these don't let them spring back at you all right straighten them out as you go and bend it down further Try to get your clamp nice and straight. 
nice and centered, I should say. Okay, and just uh, on that correction, it, do it doesn't matter if the clamp is straight because sometimes you'll actually position it on an angle if you see that, you know, the wood's kind of leaning to one side or popping up on a corner, all right? But uh, you want to try to get the, the center of your clamp on the center of the wood, all right? Okay, and we've got another clamp. And I'm going to go right down to the end, straighten out my strips, put the clamp on, Check that it's pretty close to center and tighten it up. Okay, now just give it a bit more tighten. Just a little bit. Okay, so now I've got all my clamps on one side. Okay, and actually, I'm sorry, I'm just, uh, I should point out one other thing that I forgot. Another thing I do is I put a piece of scrap down on the floor underneath, okay? Or you can use a piece of cardboard, an old rug, or a garbage bag, or something. Uh, just so that any glue that does drip down, you know, drips down on, onto something. Especially if you're using epoxy or the Gorilla Glue or something like that, it might be hard to get up off the floor. So, you know, I put something down. Right now I've got three drips of glue, you know, just small drips. Not a big deal, but, you know, if you're going to be doing a lot of boats or, you know, or if you're a messy worker, you know, it's just you know tidy work area you know so you, your partner will appreciate it right so uh now i'm on this side okay i've got clamps on that side it's all good now i'm just going to put a few on this side to just balance it out okay and uh, i'll just start at the bottom i'm just going halfway between okay i'll add one here grab another one So this spot's a little tight, okay, getting it in, there you go. Tighten that up. Grab another, I can see that it, I've got a little gap in here, okay, so I'm going to put another one right in there right now, okay. Let's pull it together a bit. Okay, and there we go, that did it. Okay, grab another one. that in there and I'll just take another clamp and I'll stick it in here at the end okay so uh, yeah with the gluing process you know depending on what type of glue you're gonna use uh, just let it sit right uh, the I think Gorilla Glue says that it's one to two hours for it to you know uh, uh, like partially cure um, but to let it sit for 24 hours so I clamp it up I usually do it at the end of the day and then just let it sit all night okay um, I could have both both uh, stems sitting ready to glue, uh, but you know usually there's a lot of other stuff going on in the workshop, and I'll do something else as well, and it's not a big deal. Um, I like to get a lot of the little jobs done before I start stripping, you know, and so there's usually a lot to do just in preparation, and then uh, if you you know if you get all those little things done, then once you start actually building the boat, you have all your parts sitting there waiting and, and it's good and more enjoyable. Okay, so we'll get this last clamp on here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I've got a, like I said, I got about an inch here and an inch down, or actually quite a few inches down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna add a couple more clamps down there. Um, can even use these. So actually, I will. Just something to pinch it together, you know, and that's good. And uh, I'll stick it down at the end here. I'll go right over to the end. Squeeze that together. Okay. And that's good. So one thing with Gorilla Glue is it foams up a lot. So in another couple minutes, I'll wipe a lot of that off and you know, then it's less for me to clean up, you know, with a, a rasp or something in the future. All right. Uh, one thing with Gorilla Glue I've noticed is it doesn't like latex gloves for some reason. So uh, I've, it's actually, uh, it deteriorates them. So uh, I'm pretty sure these are latex. I'm not sure if these are latex or vinyl, but 
uh, yeah, these ones are latex. So usually I've got enough time to get it all glued up and I take them off and throw them out. Um, so yeah, just if, if you go the Gorilla Glue method, uh, you know, wear the gloves, be prepared. You might see, hey, the, the glue is having some kind of effect here. So, you know, work relatively quickly. If you need to, take the gloves off and change them. You got, I think it's about 15, 20 minutes to work with Gorilla Glue. Read the, the tube, it tells you everything. And uh, yeah, you know, to be on the safe side, don't listen to me. You know, if you have any, you know, questions or concerns about the Gorilla Glue, uh, check with uh, your epoxy company, West System, or you know where you buy it, and ask if there's going to be any reaction with those as well. Um, like I said, I haven't had any problem. Um, I've, uh, you know, in fact, I've seen people using the Gorilla Glue for a, a hollow wooden surfboard construction as well. So, you know, I don't think there's any issues there. But you know, play on the safe side, you know, and uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the video series.